I'm raising my little brother after our parents died, and I'm struggling. This post is mainly to vent, as I just need to get all of this off my chest. I feel like I have no one to talk to. About 14 weeks ago, both of my parents passed away unexpectedly. I wasn't very close to them, but it still hurt. My little brother, Henry, 11, was left with no one else to take care of him. I didn't want him going into the foster system, so I took him in. I'm 23, I just graduated from university, and I had my first real job lined up. I had to quit before I even started because I couldn't manage caring for him, dealing with grief, and working at the same time. I know that might seem foolish in hindsight, but I wasn't doing it out of laziness. I just couldn't handle it all. My parents were very traditional and very religious. We never really got along well. They often told me I was a disappointment because I failed university twice, didn't attend church, and they found out I had experimented with things like smoking when I was 16. They had no problem letting me know I was their biggest disappointment, so I avoided them as much as I could. Now, I feel guilty about that since they're gone. I also wasn't particularly close to Henry by extension, though I care about him. Henry has been homeschooled his whole life and doesn't have friends outside of our parents' church group. He's a good kid, polite, kind, and always helping out around the house. He's not the problem, but I'm struggling with the responsibility of him living with me. My parents coddled him in some ways, like having him co-sleep with them and keeping him on a strict bedtime. They only allowed him to watch TV shows for very young kids and wouldn't even let him play with real Legos, only the larger ones for toddlers. On the other hand, they expected a lot from him in terms of chores, and he never realized how unusual it all was. After my parents passed, I moved back into their house temporarily. I spoke with Henry, and he wanted to move back to where I was living, so we packed up and made the move. I think he saw it as a fresh start. The first thing I did was put him on the waiting list to start school. I can't homeschool him. I'd mess it up, but all the schools in our area are full, and they said he might not get a place until after Christmas. The council is providing him with tutoring for two hours a day, starting soon. They assessed him and said his education level is around that of a six or seven year old. He doesn't have any learning issues. It's just from poor schooling at home. I'm really worried I'm failing him. He still tries to do all the chores, even though I told him not to while he settles in. He's just that kind of kid, sweet and considerate. I'm terrified I'm going to mess him up somehow. I don't want him to turn out like I feel I have. A disappointment. Last night, I woke up and heard him crying in his room. He said he had a dream about our parents coming back, and it upset him. I didn't know how to comfort him, so I sat on his bed, trying not to cry myself. He asked if he could sleep in my room. I've always said no before, but this time I let him stay for the night. Now I'm second guessing that decision, wondering if it was right. I constantly doubt myself. I don't know if I can be a good parent for him, but I also don't want him to end up in foster care. I'd never forgive myself. I just want to do right by him, but I'm scared I'll fail. Thank you for reading this.